Hola and bienvenidos masters and princesses. Happy early April Fool's Day. Today we're going to be listening to band Maiko because tomorrow is April Fool's Day and why not celebrate a little project that happened then, right? I got a lot of comments on my last video that there was an original composition made by this band, which is not band made by the way. So in a way I'm kind of breaking the band made Sunday rule. I'm sure they won't mind. The original composition that was suggested to me is called Gyeoncho. I cannot wait to jump right in. But before we do that, if you like the content you see here, please like and subscribe to my channel. Or if you really, really like my content, I also have a Patreon where I post extra content as well as extra reaction content. So if you're interested in that, there is a link down in the description below. But let's jump right in to band Maiko Gyeoncho. <laughs> So before we get into that, ugh, I hate saying this, but I really, really like Ben Michael. And I, it's so sad that they only have a few songs, but what's cool about this is at the beginning. So I remember last video, last Sunday, I'm sure bandmate will be fine that we're talking about their arch nemesis. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's different types of shinobues out there. There's different sizes. There's actually a specific name for them being in a different key, but this one sounds like it's a small like really small shinobue because it sounds like a whistle almost. And it's absolutely beautiful in this opening that we get here. I love the sound that's coming from that instrument. I was immediately taken. And if I'm right, we still have a shamisen in the background and I absolutely love the, how it's coloring the sound. You could hear it in that chorus part where all of a sudden it got a lot heavier a lot more fuller in instrumentation. But what I like is that we had a smaller instrumentation and then all of a sudden we get the full instrumentation. So I wanna go back so that I can kind of talk through all that again as well. So let's do that again. Yeah, so we have Shinobue. That Shinobue is right in the background. You can hear the koto. And now we get the shamisen. So large or small orchestration, large orchestration, back to our only traditional instruments here. You can hear the taiko. We add a little bit more. Bring us a lower dynamic. <laughs> and then... Ooh. 
Before we get into that, because something happened here. Okay, so what's really neat starting here is we get the repeat of the words coming back, but we're in a half time. What I really like is there's a section where Akatsuki is playing on the te, so the upbeat, and it just kind of like playing on an upbeat is not easy. But percussionist drummers, like, they feel time almost infinitely. I believe that their drummers are like aliens. They can feel beat in anything, which is amazing. But it's neat to hear that. And then the insane, like, bass, it's like a miniature bass solo interlude that happens from Ume Misa. And that, I, I, ooh, it, I was like, oh, it kind of took me by surprise. Also, the fact that we hear Hatoko singing in this one in tandem with Fujiki. So it's really cute. I love listening to this. Let's go back to this part. So we get the bass keeping the beat and all the traditional instruments are taking over. Ooh, listen to the rhythm in this section. I just have to stop and say that section is purely about rhythm. Like, yes, we do have musicality, like like single note chords. Kanoemi is giving us mm, 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 mm. she's giving us a rhythm. And then same thing with Ume Misa. She's giving us rhythm as well. Same thing with Akatsuki. You can hear the taiko taking over in this section. But anyway, I, I just wanted to mention that before we get into this cool stuff here. But let's keep going. Now we take, 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 take. Yeah, listen to that hi hat. Listen. Yeah, if you didn't hear what Ume Misa was doing there, sorry. I, I talked over it. Listen carefully. Listen, listen, listen.
happened over here? Hold on. So I'm going to go back here. The orchestration became smaller with the cart scene. And then there was another cart scene where we, we changed the feel of the beat, but it or more like the style of the beat for a second. And it was just really interesting. So <laughs> I, I want to go back and see if I can talk over this a little bit, but let's do this again. Right here. It just goes into a half time. It's the orchestration doesn't get smaller. Her voice is so pretty. Here we have that small orchestration. So we have a build that's happening here. And what I love is Atkatsuki is actually going to do something very smart with the composition here. She's going to make us feel like the song is getting more intense and fast by just changing a simple rhythm on the snare. But I want you to hear how pretty this is. Listen carefully for Hatoko's voice here with the echo effect. But then you hear all the beautiful traditional instruments underneath Fujiki's voice and it's absolutely gorgeous. There's a little bit of electronics I think going underneath just to create a little bit more of effect but we're gonna start right here again. <laughs> You can hear the koto and the shinobue. And then, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. She's gonna move to eighth notes. One take, two take, three take, four take, one take, two take, then sixteenth. And then, like what what so all that build up and then oh, just kidding i love i love that they did that again smart composing here because they were like we're building it up we're building it up and then oh, just kidding i need you to listen one more time because sometimes like have you ever listened or done something so hype that afterwards you're like where was i they kind of do this to you but then they put, reel you back in with stuff like that. Right here, we get those 16ths are being pulled in and all of a sudden we get less amount of drums and uh, you can hear that bass line underneath, like, excuse me? Like, listen carefully. And then Shamisen. <laughs> And then we're brought back in. We come all back together. Traditional instruments. And modern. And we're back in time. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> okay i'm not saying that ban maiko could use a shinobue player or flutist i'm not saying that their arch nemesis could compete with ban maiko if they needed a flutist i'm just saying the offer stands. I'm more than happy to do it. <laughs> anyway, and I love the context of the, the song. So they're talking about the history of being a Maiko and choosing to do this and how beautiful the history is, how colorful their history is. This is absolutely gorgeous. The fact that they're talking about their culture in a song. It's absolutely beautiful and the instrumentation's beautiful and the way it's approached is gorgeous. So good job, Ban Maiko. Man, bandmate needs to meet them. I don't know why they're enemies. That's kind of sad. Imagine putting these two bands together. Wow. 
All right. Well, after that wonderful cultural experience, if you'd like to continue the conversation about music, feel free to leave a comment down below. What do you think of Gyeoncho? Do you think there might be more coming tomorrow? Fingers crossed, right? So anyway, again, if you love what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to check out my Patreon for extra content and more reactions, feel free to click on that link down in the description below. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>